From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, it looks like I took several paintbrushes and I went all over this and that I'm not very good. However, what this has to do is high wind warning, advisory for the winds up here in Idaho City. We're talking about some strong winds around the Boise area. Could get up to about 40, 50 miles an hour. Some gusts even out toward Mountain Home, 60 miles an hour. Uh, the National Weather Service puts this in because uh, it's such strong winds that it could actually cause damage in some locations and especially out there east of Boise. But everybody has strong winds coming forward tomorrow, especially from oh, about Canyon County eastward. But Canyon County will still have winds about 25, 35 miles an hour. Out here, we're talking about fires, which are looking out here to the red. So I showed you this map a while ago. Look at Southern California. They've got all of that, too. So that brings us to the idea of the temperatures across the country. Now, we, we just saw the story about Denver. So it's just like a blast of Arctic air that we get in the winter that moves down on the east side of the Rockies. We get spillover on our side. So, you know, Denver has temperatures in the 30s. In Boise, we could be in the upper 60s or even the mid 60s for some of the high temperatures as we look at that. Now, let me take a look at also our future cast. This is the smoke that you see around the area for tonight at 10 o'clock. It is improving. And when you look at this about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, you might be getting up and saying, boy, it doesn't look like it's much better. We've got more smoke because there's so many fires around. But by afternoon and Monday with some of those strong winds, you can see what's taking place here. Some smoke tries to come in and out, but as you can see, it clears up in spots. So that's a good thing. The only thing is, is after the winds die down, we still have areas of smoke all over the uh, northwest. We have a lot of smoke coming out of the southwest through California. So depending on our upper airflow, we likely could be bringing in some more smoke after a few days. And just looking at what's taking place here, if you take a wide shot uh, right here and then go up even a little bit wider, you'll see the frontal system that's coming in that extends actually out here even into the upper Midwest and is going to come down and we're going to get a little bit in our area and it's going to cool us off, but it's really going to bring out some of those winds for tomorrow afternoon. In fact, here's some of the estimated wind gusts and you can see in the morning it's not too bad, but you'll notice about noon it starts picking up. There's 43 miles an hour at 4 o'clock, and it could be as high as 48 miles an hour. So like I said, anywhere from about 40 to 50 miles an hour could be 60 miles an hour mountain home places east of Boise. Now the temperature starts to come down tomorrow, not as much as it does on Tuesday. But as you look at tomorrow's highs, many of these temperatures will be into the upper 80s around most of the locations. So if you look at Burley tomorrow, it's 82. This is the uh, beginning of the temperatures coming down. After all, yesterday was 100. Now you look at Haley, they had temperatures that were in the mid to the upper 90s, but they have 84 degrees for tomorrow. Sun Valley at 79. When you get over here to the western portions of the mountains, you see 72 tomorrow for McCall, so definitely coming down. Weezer 89 and Emmett 88, so I'm not talking anybody uh, even around 90 degrees for tomorrow, but we do have some mid 80s. However, something to look at here in the seven day, 86 for tomorrow and windy. So your last day off there, Tuesday back, you see 43. That's the low temperature in the morning and 44 for Wednesday. Those will be really chilly mornings. Temperatures will be getting up and starting to climb. By Thursday, we're back into the 80s and by the weekend here, we'll be looking at temperatures mainly into the upper 80s at that time or possibly get it near 90 degrees and we'll have to be watching for smoke. We'll keep our eye on the air quality for you. And we're gonna be back with more news. We're coming back in just a moment.